Hi, so in this video, I like to be um, playing around with the GDI, which is the graphics device interface, just to show you what's there and how we, you know, how we draw things on our on our form. So let's get started. All right, so what we've done so far is we've got all of our game windows set up, you know, locked away in our little region here, so we don't, you know, it's out of the way, and. We've got an we've got this 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 field ellipse that's red, moving along at this rate, and we start at a hundred. So let's run that. There you go. Do you see that? So um so uh so just to explain, I just wanna what I'll do is I'll get rid of I'll get rid of this clear, just to show you how this thing works. I'll get rid of this this background. I'll show you what happens. So what do you notice? First, you notice there's no background color. But secondly, do you notice how it just smears across? Um, just to explain that, what's happening is this game loop is looping around like this, or rather looping around like this. And if you, and what happens is this is all what it's doing is it's drawing this red sphere, red ball, red circle at the X position with these y, y and height and width and all that. And then this thing is also happening every 16 milliseconds and it, it's changing its position. So right now X starts at 100. So if I turn that off, it won't move because this is a thing that you'll add one to this every time, right? So it goes 100, 101, 102, blah, blah, blah. So right now, if I turn that off, it doesn't, it doesn't move, right? But it starts at 100. Of course, I can change its starting position to you know, 10 and it'll be closer to the end here. Now, just to let you know, if you're coming from um, a Mac, programming environment the reference point for windows is zero zero is up here so 10 basically means x is 10 so it goes across 10 a little bit and then the y that doesn't change over here is 100 so it goes down 100 so um, of course i could you know go dim y here set the y to 10 as well so it can it'll be at 10 10 and then over here, change this to Y, whatever Y is. And then I'll click, I'll put start there. And you can see that the position is 10, 10. Now the reference point for this sphere is actually at the top corner here. So 10, 10 is here, it goes 10, 10, and then draw a sphere. So it doesn't draw from the center, it draws from the kind of the outer edges there. All right, so the reference point is on the top corner there. Now if I do this, every frame will change the position of X. X changes, and you can see that as X changes, it moves across. And it keeps drawing the sphere on top and it doesn't refresh the background. So if you want a refreshed background, you just keep redrawing the background. So you draw the sphere, then cover it up, draw the sphere, cover it up, and then it, it emulates an, a simulation of the object actually moving across the screen. All right, so that's just the quick explanation of what's happening there. Of course, I can make it move diagonally. So I can also um, move it across and also move it down. Plus one is to go down, plus is to go down for the Y, because your reference point is upside down. All right? So you can do that, All right? And of course I can, you know, change the size. I can put in another variable called size. Set the size to you know one hundred, which is here. And also I can increase decrease the size. I can make the size go smaller and smaller. So I can go size equals size minus one and as it goes it kind of goes it reduces in size there all right so that's pretty much that uh so what else can you draw here what else can you draw here so you can draw a field ellipse i'll get rid of these just to show you what you can draw and how do you draw in here so you so here's what you can do so this is kind of might be complicated for you you don't have to do it this way. Um, what you could do is you could, you know, go dim br dim brush, right? Dim brush equals to new solid brush, and then set the solid brush to a particular color, so say red. And then you've made your brush, and you can reuse your brush. And then it's and then over here, just write brush, or even better, since it's a red brush, you can go brush red. Right, so just to simplify kind of the process, you can do that and you can reuse this now. So you, so you don't put it straight into there. 
So I can draw another object, like um, fill ellipse fills the ellipse, but draw ellipse will draw an ellipse, but that we won't fill it. And if you're using some things that aren't filled, it doesn't use a brush, it uses a pen. So you can see here, there's a pen. So what we can do is we can create a pen. We can go pen black equals to new pen. And pen takes in a brush. So actually, why don't we make this a red pen? And we'll put, we'll give it the red, we'll give it the, the, uh, the actual red brush instead. So, so now we can use this pen red, right? And let's have a look at the overload. So you can put in a rectangle, but I think it's just easier just to go in and see what you've got here. Um, you can put in, you know, X, Y with height. X, so we, we, X would, be, let's put this at 100, 100, and also make it smaller, 20 by 20. Let's draw this ellipse. Let's have a look here. And there's that little kind of little circle going on there. There, all right. Uh, what else can you draw? You can draw, look, there's a whole heap of things you can draw. Um, you can draw lines. And as we get to it, we can, you know, you can play around with this and learn how to use this. Uh, you can do rectangle, you can do arcs. You just learn how to do it. Um, you can do lines, rectangles. So some primitives, you can do rectangle, single rectangle. What does rectangle want? He wants a pen, so I'll use a red pen because that's the only pen I've made. And again, if you click down, you can look at these overloads. X, Y with height, same deal. We'll put that at 200, 200, 50, 50. There you go. Now the pen width you can change. I think that in the pen, there's an overload for the pen. Yeah, so you can put a comma here and put a width, so you make it 10. You make a thicker kind of pen. There you go. Um, you can use, you notice here I used color.red. I used color.red here. Uh, sorry about that. that. was just a slight, slight interruption there. But um, you, you, can, you got red here. So actually we can, we can make our own custom colors. So what I could do is I could go like dim custom color All right custom color equals new color no not new color I think it's color dot color dot from a r g b and I can make my own colors up and what I could do is there's a few overloads here but the one I want to show you is the red green blue alpha I want to show you alpha red green blue so for alpha Alpha is like how transparent. So 255 max, so that's opaque. Then you can put max red, then maybe a little bit of green. Then So the maximum number is 255, and maybe not much blue. Uh, and that's my custom color. I'll use custom color in here. Custom color. Um, it's not red anymore, but anyway. Let's have a look at our custom color. So there's our custom car is orange. And what I'll do is I'll um, reduce the this so that it's you know transparent, a little bit transparent. Oh, not a little bit, that's quite a lot. So you can, now it's transparent, but it just changes color. So, you know, um, I can I guess I could show you how this changes. What I'll do is I'll add a variable in called say alpha, just to show you. Then I'll knock alpha down by one. Alpha down by one because alpha down by one every frame just to show you how it changes and then what I'll do is um, only if only only knock it down by one if alpha is greater than zero. It's good enough. And if. So I can't spell alpha. That's good, 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 good. Uh, and then over here, we'll just chuck alpha here. Alpha, alpha, alpha. And what we'll do, we will set alphas 
to start at 255. So just as you can see, I'm pro the way I'm programming here, um, I create my variables, you know, above everything, you know, and then I, um, you can set, you can set it's everything up here, really. Uh, probably better there, uh, but I, I do I set it in game load, which is going to happen anyway before anything gets used. And then I do my logic, my game logic in here. So any kind of um, thing that needs to happen every frame that goes in here. And then I do all my drawings in here. And the since the way we set it up, it kind of works all together, and it produces. Uh, so notice the alpha is going down slowly, slowly, and you can see how it's transparent, and it's gone. So that's kind of that. Um, I think, uh, is there anything else in here? Yeah, any other drawing that you really need? Um, other than that, just that's how you do your colors. You can do um, set colors or colors for your own custom colors. You don't have to use alpha. I can delete that and it'll still work because it's got, a, it's got multiple overloads. Overload basically means it's got multiple ways to use this, you know, multiple uh, available ways to you know do this do this uh, for this method uh, this is how you create a brush we use a solid brush you create a pen depending on the actual function generally the fills require some kind of brush and the draws require some kind of pen you can set the width for your pen you can set your position x y your height and width and you can do some drawings and you can start uh, you know playing around with the animations you can start animating things right um, that pretty much concludes this video for um, just drawing. Oh, actually, it, uh, you can draw, I think you can draw an image. Uh, then you have to load in an image, which I can show you in the future at some point when we start making our game. You can also draw, was it string? Yeah, you can draw a string as well. Let's try the string. Let's go hello, uh, new font, uh, new font, and Let's go Arial. Uh, what kind of overload do they give me? Font family, name, and the size. So I'll put like 40. And I think that's, and then we need, what does it, what else does it need? Uh, what kind of overloads this thing has? Uh, we've got point and then, uh, we've got XY, we'll use that one. Let's put it at 300, 300. And what am I? What else am I missing? So we got. Uh, which one's it registering? String font brush. String font brush. Okay, so string font brush then X Y. Let's try that one. There you go. Hello's on off on the corner there, but anyway, you get the idea. Alright, no worries. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next video.